I am Daniel Vane. Mr. Blackett Chan is in the off screen doing whatever it is he's doing. Wardrobe. This is part two. CGI and revamps. Okay. Opinion about CGI and about revamps. I'm going to tell you right now. I think it was yesterday, day before. Go over to my brother's house. Mr. Black Chan's over there. Him and my brother. They're watching Ghost Rider. Yeah, the one with Nick Cage. All right. Haters, shut up. Okay. That's a badass movie. Badass. If you don't like Nick Cage's acting, there's something wrong with you. Okay. Ghost Rider was awesome. And now here comes the CGI in it. Awesome. And you know what? Absolutely killed it. Made it necessary. Okay. That's what I think. Certain CGI nowadays, if you really want the comics to come to life on movies, you need that CGI. Watch it behind the scenes of any of these comic movies. Watch it and see how it looks without the CGI. Eh, eh, eh. I don't ever watch behind the scenes of any movie until after I've seen it. Because it was just a disappointment. Alright. Look at the Batman franchise. Okay, we're going to go into revamps with this. Take the Tim Burton series. The first one with Michael Keaton. How much CGI really was in that movie? Compared to what's going on nowadays? <clears throat> not really much. Okay? It was, they were still using models and whatnot. You know, there's a little CGI to that, of course. Computer-generated images. That's for you guys who do not understand what CGI stands for. Computer-generated images. Alright. That Batman dum, series... Dum, 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 <laughs> that Batman series... Ones with Michael Keaton, only the ones with Michael Keaton, were really CGI free is because they really didn't need it. Okay? Uh -uh. Batman is a regular person. He doesn't need a lot of CGI. I mean, you really even saw it in the newer series. Yeah, of course there was more CGI into that one because they counted for it and the technology's better. They wanted to make the, you know, the bat mobile better, bat itself, everything. So, of course, they're going to add more CGI because it's nowadays. <sighs> let's talk about Marvel and their CGI's. Okay, well, let's go back when they weren't using CGI. The Incredible Hulk. TV, okay? TV. Did they use it? No. They used a different person to play the Hulk. They used two actors. One played David Bruce Banner. One played the Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Okay? And then, of course, eventually the series. Wow. Look at Superman. You want to talk about Superman and revamps and changing the technology? Superman existed. A Superman was a television show in the 1950s. Huh? Yeah. One of the first superheroes to be on television. Let's see, who else showed up? Batman? Batman had two television series. The one where the super high, uh, black and white, the super high, of course you all don't remember that. I'm not talking to you. Okay. And then of course there was the, the 70s version, Adam West, Burt Ward, no, 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 no. CGI, <laughs> you get rich. Then you keep going, going, going. Now let's talk about Superman. Superman, 1950s. Yeah, right, you get, you get computer, gem computer with a computer in the 1950s. Such thing. Okay, let's spit forward to uh, 1980s and a guy named Christopher Reeve. The CGI in there, of course, it was necessary, but it's not like it is today. Then it's special effects, not computer generate images. Keep going. You want to talk about Superman Returns? Let's not talk about Superman Returns because you know what? I saw it once and I never want to see it again. And that sucks because Kevin Spacey was awesome as Lex Luthor. Everything else, I don't know a single person personally that would ever want to see that movie again. Sorry. Speaking of those movies that were obviously overkilled and were worried about the wrong things, The Hulk, the one with Eric Bana. I've never had a reason to watch it. I mean, is that, does that make it a good thing for me? Or, oh, then how do you know it's good or bad? Um, if I hear enough people that I trust tell me, just don't waste your time, 
I'm not going to waste my time. But I have to have enough people, the right people, to tell me that. But was the Hulk CGI necessary? It made it a lot better for the Incredible Hulk, the one with Edward Norton. Yeah. The Hulk is huge. I mean, they gave props to Lufrino in. First one you think was a security guard walking by? Yeah. And that's all Marvel's doing. The new Hulk was Marvel's doing. Marvel themselves, when they made their studio, yeah, that's right, come on, I know you all know this, Marvel's first movie was Iron Man. They did the Avengers. And that's why they have a parent company that is so freaking big and old school. They're pretty much, you're going to get the most ultimate of movies and comics when it comes to Marvel and other people. Anyway, now let's go back to DC. Let's talk about the Man of Steel. I love how they did it. The CGI. Oh, it's already there. You know what? You're not going to fight with the CGI by that time. Okay? Iron Man. Everybody's already using it. They use it to make Krypton. They may use it to make everything. It's just... You know what? I have no problem with CGI as long as it's used correctly and it looks good and it fits what's supposed to be going on. That's it. Alright? Revamps. Let's go into that a little bit. We kind of already got who revamps have been going on. And you know what? They got better and they were necessary. Because the last ones, yeah, they were cool. But let's now bring it into nowadays. Let's make it what it would be like if it really could happen nowadays. The Tim Burton version of Batman, it was a modern day for the, you know, 1990, I believe that's when it came out. It was a modern version of the 50s. They made the style. Look at it. They had the doors all over the place. They had Batman look. They had Gotham looking old school, you know, back in the 50s style. Like the cartoon look, dude. Yes, yes. Yeah, they had the modernities of it, you know. The machine guns and stuff are a little more modern stuff. Some of the weaponry. You know, even the Batmobile was way beyond his days. But you know what? They made it work. And you know what? They really didn't have to use a lot of CGI. They just had to find the right cars and sets and things like that. Then they go up to uh, the new ones, the Christopher Nolan versions. Modern day, look, I dig it. This is how Batman's going to happen. If it happens nowadays, they do minimal CGI for explosions, the little flight, etc. But you know what? They don't really need to do a lot again. Again, because Batman's a human set. He doesn't have a lot of extra special um, powers that they need to show the CGI. As in Ghost Rider. He's a freaking skeleton on fire that rides a motorcycle on fire. Yeah, got to use CGI. Otherwise, you're going to have to... It gets really expensive and really cheesy looking if you keep having to set a motorcycle on fire. And... Bright ass pinata. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pinata. So, revamps. I'm going to tell you like this. How many of you know the story of Hercules? Yeah? Yeah? He's a really, 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 really old superhero. Revamped. If you get the new technology to tell it a new way, it's a revamp. So, you know what? If you're going to tell the story as long as you keep certain details of the story right, what's wrong with telling it again? Alright, that's pretty much it right now. Daniel Vane, Buddy Chan, let me talk to you about that other one in just a bit.